So let's see how we can get started using Blur Web App. The first step in this process is going to be the installation part. So you can visit blurweb.app, go to the bottom of the page and then click on download extension. Or the other option can be you can just type blurweb.app on Google and click on this link where this is saying blurweb.app and chrome.google.com. Once you are on this particular page, you can just click on add to Chrome. I have actually already done that. So let me show you um, how we can do that. Just click on add to Chrome, click on add extension. Once you will do that, it will be added right over here. I'm going to click on this add on and then click on pin. Once you will do that, it will be pinned to your taskbar. Now you can just visit any landing page. So or any page, I'm just going to visit blurweb.app. Now you, you need to make sure you don't click on the extension when you are in a new tab because it will not work on the new tab as well as on google.com. So you can just visit any landing page like blurweb.app, click on the extension, then enter your license key. I'm going to do that and then click on activate. Once you will do that, now it's time to give your device a name so that later on you can manage your active devices. You can deactivate them from uh, blurweb.app slash my license over here. Now I'm going to give this device name form notify app. So this is basically my Chrome profile. So this is the name I want to give it. I'm going to name this three because I already have two. So I'm going to click on add device. That's all what we need to do. And we are ready to get started using blurweb app. Now let's go through all the different features blurweb have to offer. The first one is we have two blur options, actually three blur options. We have element blur, we have text blur and we have area blur. So let's see how all of these works. So first thing first, you can see this blue border um, around every different elements. So what we can do is we can click on anything and it will blur it out. So this is called element blur because we are doing the blur or providing the blur to the elements. If you will click on this switch mode, then it will switch it to the text based. So now you can select a text and then click on this, which says blur selected text and it will blur that selected text. Now let's go back to the element one. We have this third option, which is called hide tile. So uh, title. So for example, if you don't want people to see this title of your uh, browser, for example, there is one case if you're using Google AdSense uh, page and you are showing some details to your uh, you're just teaching something and you don't want the title to show it can be earning, it can be your ID and stuff like that. Then you can just click on this and it will remove that. Moving on, we have this blur area feature. So with element, you can blur a particular things, right? You can blur particular element, but that is pr uh, very fixed. If you want very free um, of how you want to blur, then you can use blur area. So with blur area, you don't have to be dependent on where the element is. You can just draw this rectangle anywhere in the screen and it, it will blur it out. So for example, you can do it like this. Um, for example, I just want to hide this face part in the video. I'm just going to do that. And then let's say I just don't want to see ORE. Maybe I don't want to see the half of it. Maybe I don't want to see get started and I'm going to click on apply. So these are the different options which we have. Then we have this clear all which is obviously basically to clear all the blur which we have done so far. We have this option so that you can control the opacity. So in some cases, if you have a very large text like this one, your opacity might be something like the text is visible. In that case, you can increase the opacity or if you like, you can decrease the opacity as well. It's in your control. I'm going to increase it. So that is there. Now we also have an interesting feature which is called keep blur. So right now, if I will reload this page, you can see that a blur will be gone. But if you if I want this blur to stay, then what I can do is I can click on the extension. I will click on this keep blur. So making sure we click on the keep blur first and then we will blur out the stuff we want to keep. So I'm going to click on keep blur and then I will click on this. Click on that. Then I will click on this check and then if I will reload, you can see it has blurred out. And the most important thing is it was not even uh, visible for a single second or a millisecond. So keep your focus here. Let's see that again. If we will re reload, it's not visible. Now this also works for um, the area blur area feature as well. So let's say I, I want to, for some reason, I want to hide something of a very 
not exactly element based so let's say if i have the face for example the face in this particular video i don't want to show the face in this video then what i can do is i can click on keep blur so again i'm click on clicking on keep blur first to keep the blur clicking on blur area and then what i will do is i will draw this blur area around this face and then click on apply click on check and if i will reload the page you can see it stays right if you will scroll up and down when you will go back to that it's still blur so there it is how to use blur web app very simple very straightforward so if you have any questions feel free to mail us at sanskar at the rate blurweb.app and uh, we will be there to help you have a good day